YouTube universe. What's going on, everybody? What's cracking? What's popping? And happy Black History Month for the, all you, for all of you that may be hating on that. Too bad. Anyway, welcome to the Temple of Zen. It's your favorite mother freaking role model, Hitman Thornton for Raw Reaction TV. And wait for it. Wait for it. Feel nothing but the love. Producer J, drop that for me one time. Check it, people. <laughs> they released. It is back. Ant-Man has returned, but this time it's Ant-Man and the Wasp. <laughs> now, I'm not going to lie. The first Ant-Man movie wasn't a big fan of, of it. Took I had to see it again a few times, and it was a cool entertainment movie. Maybe because when I saw it, there was always there was all these kids around. Maybe that kind of turned me off to it because it's a different type of movie. It's not as dark as the others or as brutally violent, but um, it's entertaining and fun. So let's see what they're up to this time. I just have one question. When Cap needed help, if I'd asked you, would you have come? I guess we'll never know. So. But if you had, you'd have never been caught. Picking up from Civil War, nice. I do some dumb things, and the people I love the most, they pay the price. Thanks to you, we had to run. <laughs> We're still running. That's <laughs> tight, that's tight. Nice. Maybe you just need someone watching your back. Like a partner. <laughs> Slick. Hold on. Slick. Gave her wings and blasters. So I take it you didn't have that tech available for me. No, I did. <laughs> wow. Wow, the Hello Kitty. Wow. Whoever created Hello Kitty is getting hell of a marketing. And this movie, Deadpool, man. Wow, imagine getting a fly, big ass flying Hello Kitty Pez dispenser coming at you. Wow, but this looks good. This looks awesome. Not bad, not bad. I'm all down for this. Ant Man and the Wasp. Cool. But as, but um, yeah. So uh, Peyton Reed, who directed the first uh, Ant Man, is back. Of course, Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly. She's Wasp. You have Michael Pena. Love me some Michael Pena. He's off the chain. Uh, Michael Douglas OK returning as Hank Pym, Dr. Hank Pym, you know, the original. And Lawrence Fishburne. And he, I believe, is supposed to be Goliath in this one. Um, so this is going to be a very, very fun, entertaining film. This is going to be off the chain. OK, I'm sold on it. I'm sold. Like I said, wasn't a big fan of the first Ant-Man after I've seen it a few more times. It's cool. It's entertaining. I dig it. I dig it. It's a different type of Marvel film. So something for the whole family and all that. So I'm down. I'm down. All right. This looks awesome. The knife with the... That's slick. That is slick. And the building with the suitcase. Dude, that was tight. That was slick. I like that. Anyway, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of Ant-Man and the Wasp. But real quick. People have no idea how dark of a character uh, Hank uh, Pym is in the comics. So it's very interesting how they made his character very lighthearted in this one. Because in the comics, oh, you thought Tony Stark was bad. Oh, Hank Pym's off the chain. But anyway, 
Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Hit like, subscribe, share, of course. And tell all your peoples, your wife, your kids, your side chick, your love child about your favorite mother freaking role model, Hitman Thornton for Raw Reaction TV. Until next time, peace out, bitches. And stay zen as fuck.